Hi, welcome back, and I'm Jean, and this lovely elder gentleman is Chester. Hey, hi, Mimi. He would be 124 in human years because of the last six years of his life was pretty rough. He is 17 years old, but he's about the age of what a 124-year-old human male that's been sat in the corner to die. So... I started showing you the power of healing touch when we first got Jester brought to us. Watch video one, it'll give you more of an introduction. Uh, yeah. So, the power of healing part one, and I'll link it down here. We started with doing head and sinus massage and just starting to get into going down the spine. He could not stand very long without falling over. He could not walk. Half of his fur was ripped out from the arms down for many reasons. He has scarred ears because of long-term untreated ear mice, ear mites made him deaf and scarred his ears. Uh, he's got allergies and sinus problems because he, where he lived was infested with roaches. So, yeah. And we did massage on his gums and his chin and these flexors around the jaw because he didn't eat very much or chew and he also just has like gingivitis and things like that with his gums so so rubbing around the mouth around the gum line stimulates the gums and healing yep and then you can go all the way down the shoulders arms hands ankles wrist fingers you know because when you're older and everything's arthritic and you don't use your muscles very much to walk around you start getting wasting and muscle atrophy the nerves start to die but we're gonna concentrate on his spine and his tail because that is where it is he couldn't lift his tail at all and now he can actually bring his tail up so and he's a long boy so this is his favorite spot on the left shoulder and I've already done his walk and his massages here's his big old feet so when I'm working on his spine, the first thing you want to do when you hold or you're healing any person, because animals are people too, is be gentle, soft, you know, reassuring touch. When you're holding your animal or you're working with your person, comforting, gentle rubs to get them used to your touch is important and to help them feel safe. Now when you're doing an animal's care, you want to do reassuring tones lovely things of reassurance reinsuring and praise so that when you need to use comforting phrases later on they'll associate the cuddle and the gentle touch time with your positive reinforcements and affirmation and it's very soothing okay okay so let's concentrate on his spine and his tail okay so if you have an animal that has arthritis or spine, hip joints, you want to start with a medium hard touch. Don't just skim the skin because that's tickly. You want to push down enough where you're going, you're feeling the muscles and the ridges right here. But be gentle, start gentle, start light, and watch how they respond to it and if they like it. And they'll tell you, and his spine still sticks out quite a bit because his muscles and nerves are not built up on it yet. But he's purring. He's happy now because he loves to cuddle. So I'm going to brace his feet here because he's going to push on them. And I don't want him to push into my skin. So I'm going to start around the neck and the top. We've done his head. Right? And then we're going to do around the neck and the shoulders. Just rub. Yeah. Like a massage, right? Don't push hard directly on top of the bone. Okay? You want to follow the muscles where they connect around and here's his spine right here that's the top of his spine there's his tailbone which has a lot of injury and atrophy from muscles and nerves so you want to massage down the side of the spine and we're stimulating the nerves and the muscles and blood flow releasing tension and arthritis swelling inflammation and then you want to soothe down now, if you're stimulating and you want to get it really activated, you would rub up like this. Okay. Oh, he loves to 
okay? And then soothe it down. All right, let's concentrate on his bony little tail. You, you may or may not be able to see his hip bone sticking up right here. It's 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 kind of scary looking, but trust me, it's a hundred percent okay, six hundred percent better than what he was. Look at that big boy. So I'm gonna go around the side of the spine, up and down right there on the side, getting the nerves, getting the muscles, and then I'm gonna concentrate right here on his hip and that area. And then we're gonna work with the damaged area of the tail. And watch his tail will go. Come on, let's do the tail. There we go. And we got. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do the massage. That I see his tail's coming up. Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? So I'm 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 helping the tendons release, the nerves and the atrophied muscles. And he gets this every day. So he's stimulated and things are starting to grow back every day. But he normally, and his tail flicks real madly because the nerves and the muscles are going off. And I'm sure it tickles a little bit, but it feels good too. He leans into it, whichever side I'm rubbing. Oh, you like that? He's saying, ooh, he's purring. And then I'm going to come straight out on the tail and just, you know, don't hard. Be careful and just watch how they like it. They'll tell you. And then we're going to soothe down. Now let's work on this hip and this leg. There's the leg mu there's the there's the leg bones right there. See that right there. And because his leg and hip muscles are where a lot of the problem is, I'm gonna rub around that. And I'm not pushing straight on top of the bone. I'm kind of going in besi beside it. If you want to do, you can do soft because there's muscle in that bone. Follow the muscle and the bones, okay? Look at him stretching his foot out. Get the knee. Doing his ankle. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can get closer. Okay, baby. There we go. Oops, sorry, I knocked you over. Okay, so there we go. Let's do his leg and his foot. There's his ankle, and his ankle snaps and pops when he walks because we go for walks. Yeah, and we'll massage all the way out to the toes. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so there's a part two. We're going to sit him right here. And he meows too. It's very, it's very light and airy and kind of squeaky. There we go. Thanks for stopping by and seeing us part two on the power of healing touch. See you next time. Say bye, baby. Yeah. Mm. You're happy. Mm, that feels good, huh? Oh. Bye.